hitting balls every second. Boom, 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 boom. So fast, we can't even hit the balls, is the analogy I would use. So this isn't about Alex Jones, folks. It's about the fact that you could argue, well, you're so goofy and you're so discredited that they use you as a poster boy to discredit libertarian ideas. No, no, that's the surface level. This show is exploding in popularity and we have the globalist number. And so much of what we said has now been proven to be accurate and coming true. We know their MO. If this ever becomes mainstream, which it's starting to, that's it for them. And I'm willing to take the heat to say it first. I'm willing to hit the barbed wire as the shock troops in the info war and take one for the team. Because I realize how bad these people are. I really want to oppose them. I'm stepping up to the plate against them. So we need your prayers. We need your financial support now more than ever because they've launched a soft Democratic Party campaign on Facebook to contact everybody associated with this operation, to contact our affiliates, to contact everybody and say, oh my God, you're supporting a cop killer. When everyone knows my show says, do not go out and kill people, they're going to blame us for this. And then now you see them doing it. See, this show stands for what we cover. If Obama's bankrupting the country, shutting off the power plants, opening the borders to illegals, persecuting the press, persecuting the Tea Party, engaged in classical authoritarian moves, and then they militarize the police, train them to go after the Tea Party and liberty movement, and then people really start fighting back, it's the globalists that started the Civil War, not me that tried to stop it. And see, that's the secret right there. The main reason they hate my guts is I figured out what they're planning from reading their declassified and public documents because they're getting ready to go operational. We were getting these from FBI, federal marshals, state police, and others in 2009, 2010 when nobody else was getting them. And they were national news. Remember how crazy it sounded that the military trained to take on veterans and gun owners and libertarians? Couldn't be true. Now it's on the news every day because they're getting ready to roll it out, folks. We saw it before it came. That's the proof. They were gearing up for it before it ever happened. Not because they had a crystal ball, ladies and gentlemen, but because they were training to stage the false flags to then get the revolution started. They're the revolutionaries. It's their globalist revolution against America. Look at how we're being conquered by foreign banks with Obamacare. Look at how we're conquered with foreign banks to banker bailouts. Look at how our borders are wide open and they're saying, bring any poor kids here, we'll take them. I mean, this country is going down. Half the country's power comes from coal, 52%. They're shutting most of them down right now. Power prices are expensive going down. An enemy army would cut, would cut our power off. Folks, it's an enemy operation. It's collaborators. They're bringing us to our knees to put us on welfare. We're being domesticated right now. That's the Soviet model. Take the kids, raise them by the state. Domesticate the parents. We are going under domestication right now. So we're going to try to find the clip just because it's stunningly powerful from yesterday where I said this is staged, ladies and gentlemen, and my gut tells me that it's either criminal elements of the Democratic Party with a staged black op setting up patsies in a drill, or it's the organic sick culture that's been promoted by the globalist that's causing this with that particular profile of the devil worshiper Pib that keep, Pibs that keep doing this. Okay. When I say person in black, I ain't talking about Johnny Cash, folks. I'm not against people who like to wear black. Most of them are nice people and artists and folks. The whole point is, is that it's that particular subset continues to pop up. Not the Tea Party, not returning veterans. And they're getting ready, folks. This I've never seen such a full court press assault from CNN, Anderson Cooper, just all of them. Now, here's MSNBC quoting Alex Jones, but again... Out of context, and I stand by, it could be a, the government, and my gut tells me that something stinks here. Just like day one, I said I didn't buy the Bergdahl story on that Sunday. And then it all came out, everything we said, it was totally phony. We were the first to say that. In fact, I told my reporters on Saturday, don't go with this when it first broke on Friday. On Saturday, I talked to them, I said, because we can't prove it yet. I'm sick of being out front, just wait. I don't care, Biggs, if you've got people that were in his unit. I, I, I want proof on Monday. 
Those conversations happened. I just, we know how these operations are run. We know when something's fake. Let's go to the MSNBC clip. But on the airwaves today, conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, of whom Jared Miller was allegedly a fan of, Alex Jones fomented even more anti-government paranoia. We are in the middle of a globalist revolution against this country right now. And my gut tells me that the cold-blooded, degenerate, evil killing of two police officers and a citizen in Las Vegas yesterday is absolutely staged, ladies and gentlemen. Joining me now is the host of MSNBC's The Reed Report, Joy Reed. Joy, this keeps getting stranger and more distressing by the hour. See, there are two pieces here. This One is all junior three. high school. They all exactly. shake their heads and laugh. You mean we're known liars? The government publicly funds Al-Qaeda and false flags? This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Protect your privacy and data and render your phone or device completely undetectable. Go under the radar when your phone's not in use with BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us if you want Viagra at the lowest prices. Never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-478-9638 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-478-9638 to take your call now. Call 1-800-478-9638. That's 1-800-478-9638. Again, 1-800-478-9638. Joy, this keeps getting stranger and more distressing by the hour. There are two pieces here. One seems to be the epidemic of mass violence and mass right. shootings in public spaces. The other is the zealotry of the far, far right fringe. And Alex Jones is unbowed. Yeah. And that's and I think that second piece is really important because here you had a couple who both were drawn to Nevada right, that's to enough. support Clive and Bundy. Now you notice, they just say the same thing over and over again. There's an epidemic of mass shootings. 
Well, when the movie Jaws came out, and we've shown the mainstream news articles from the time in the newspaper, resorts had to put ads out in the 70s, early 70s, for five years straight. They had the same stories every year. Editorial saying, sharks only kill less than 10 people a year worldwide. You have a better chance of being struck twice by lightning in a year and dying from that than you do from sharks. But people still, to this day, decades later, Jaws came out in like 73, 74, still swimming worldwide has gone down in warm seas like the Caribbean that great whites aren't even in because of that movie. And it is the exact same thing here. Mass shootings are flat. Overall shootings are down. Unless you're in Chicago or Mexico. And that's just a fact. But she says there's an epidemic. See, everything comes out of their mouth is a lie or a distortion. Then she says something that's true. And they say this in all the different clips. They say Alex Jones doesn't care. He's unbowed. Then they have the Southern Poverty Law Center expert on. They have these other experts on. And they're going, oh, my gosh. He's radicalizing the Republicans. Oh, my gosh, they've got to stop. They've got to denounce him. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if what I'm saying, the talking points I'm putting out that are based in reality and facts and research, get picked up by the Republican Party, it's over. The Republican Party is being taken over by libertarians right now in almost every midterm primary happening right now, hardcore libertarian Tea Party patriots are winning. And MSNBC does shows every week saying, look at this Republican. He's an Alex Jones listener. Don't vote for him. He, here he is plugging Alex Jones, this guy or that guy at this state level or this federal level. Dude, don't vote for him. And then they win by a landslide. Let me just say this. All the New World Order can do is kill me. By demonizing me, you just make me a folk hero. And I can feel the danger, by the way. I'm not pleased by any of this. I feel sick at my stomach. But it's a job I've got to do, and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to follow this through all the way to the end, no matter what happens. Whatever the price may be, we're going to follow through on this. Like Winston Churchill said, we shall go on to the end. Whatever the cost will be, we shall defend our island. We shall never surrender. Well, I shall defend this republic and the ideas of freedom, and I will never surrender. I don't care how many crimes you blame on me. I don't care if you claim that I'm responsible for the crucifixion of uh, Jesus Christ or the sinking of the Lusitania or the Titanic. I didn't do it. I stand for freedom. I'm against killing police officers, and people ought to be glad I'm on air trying to tell radicalized folks that have been pushed by the system, don't be violent. Every day, because that's what I believe. And that's why they're saying I want violence, because they want to kick a civil war off, and they don't want us stopping it. We have billions of listeners. If you go out there and try to stop the civil war, if you go out there and try to be nice to police and inform them, if you go out and communicate with them instead of us getting in a war with them, we're going to defeat the globalists peacefully. They don't like that. I mean, we got a bunch of Al Sharpton clips, folks, where he, that are coming up where he literally is trying to start a war. They're the ones saying you're racist if you don't want to turn your guns in. They're the ones saying that the Tea Party is going to engage in terrorism with no evidence. And then it starts happening. It's very suspicious. I mean, these people funded Al-Qaeda to stage false flags. Thank you for I mean, listening. They'll do anything. They got caught Visit funding Al-Qaeda to today. blow up churches all over the world. I mean, of course they're suspects. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the assault.
Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the Info War to the next level.